This is Captain Sasha Carter of the green headband category. Why do I wear a green headband? Because that's what was sitting on my floor this morning. You know what I'm going to talk to you about? Ocean chemistry. But we're not just going to do any kind of ocean chemistry. We're going to play the Family Feud. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, um, because I am in a sort of attempt at self-quarantine, I can't be near my family, so I'm going to play all four members of the family in Family Feud. Today's first question is substances found in water. So, we asked, um, over a million molecules of water what they were made of. Now let's see what the uh, survey says. Anyone want to take a guess? This is where I should pause and take a guess. I want to say Bologna! Interesting guess, contestant number one. Survey says... Eh, there is no bologna in your water. So just because Bologna rhymes with agua does not mean there is Bologna in your agua. Okay, contestant number uh, three, we're now gonna have you take the lead. I am gonna say sodium. All right, do we have sodium? Survey says, bing, sodium at uh, 10,600 parts per million. Wow, you know what goes great with the sodium? I would say a Spartamate. Interesting guess there, contestant number three. Do we have a Spartamate or NutraSweet or other artificial sweeteners in our seawater? Survey says, <coughs> and we do not have a Spartamate in our seawater. At least not yet. All right, that, now we're gonna go to contestant number four. Hmm, I like to think of chloride when I think of my sodium. Interesting. All right. Do we have chloride? Survey says, bing, 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 bing. Ah, in fact, chloride is the most common ion in seawater. But wait a minute. We have just about 31,000 parts per million, which leaves us with the uh, a lot more millions. Let's see some other things there. All right. All right, we're gonna go down, down to contestant number four. Contestant number four, what's your answer? Hmm, I'm gonna say chicken flavor. Do we have chicken flavoring in seawater? Survey says. <laughs> All right, um, I think your team's completely screwed up early, and we're going to send it, go to the other team. All right, what are some things down in sea level, seawater? Contestant on team two, contestant number five. I'm going to say sulfate. Do we have sulfate? Survey says, bing, 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 bing. Yeah, sulfate, right on. Um, there's quite a bit of it. This is why we see things like gypsum. Um. You may have ever, ever heard of the Cave of Swords. This is where we find it. What other things do we find in seawater? Contestant number six. What is your answer? Say, magnesium. Do we have magnesium? Survey says, bing! Bing! We have magnesium. All right, this is starting to get a little ridiculous. Uh, contestant number nine, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to uh, think I'm going to say calcium because it's good for my teeth and it helps me avoid the Helvetica scenario. Do we have calcium? Survey says, ding! Bing, 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 bing! Ooh, and I think that gets us. Let's see what the other answers are. Potassium, bing! Um, carbon dioxide, bing! Nitrogen and oxygen. 
Oh. So unfortunately, our contestants missed the most common ingredient in seawater, because uh, that's what happens when you go out of the family feud. You generally miss the most obvious thing. You know what the key ingredient in seawater is? Bing! Water! H2O. Remember this, because this will be on the test, which will be take home, so yeah. Um, so, what else are we looking at in seawater? We have nutrients. They are not a big component because they are readily scavenged. Uh, iron, phosphorus, and nitrogen and silicon are readily incorporated into marine life, as is probably calcium, which is probably why we don't have as much of it as you might expect to find on there. We also have things like um, bromide, carbon, strontium, boron, iodine, zinc, aluminum. You can even find um, at about a few parts per trillion of gold. So if you go through a trillion uh, gallons of seawater, you can find one gallon of gold. Um, do you want to realize how big a trillion is? Um, honestly, the people in the finance sector are a lot better at uh, understanding that, but yeah, it's a lot. So why is it? Um, so why do I have this weird graphics? Because these are blood cells. Try not to faint at the sight of blood. Yes. Water Chemi seawater chemistry is remarkably similar to blood. Why is it similar to blood? Well, let's take a look. So it's not so much that seawater is based on our blood, so much as our blood is based on seawater. Because long before there was multicellular life, life had to basically get its nutrients somewhere, and seawater was the basic place where we think life started. And this is one of the evidences people use for it. And what is it that makes water unique? So one of the things that people do not realize about water is that it's actually not normal. Yes, there's a lot of it on planet Earth, but it is not normal. So a lot of people think uh, salt is just sodium chloride or that sea salt. The reality is, like you're seeing my hand here, maybe, maybe not. The reality is sea salt contains a lot of different interesting things. So in the remainder of this lecture, we're going to first explore what makes water unique on this planet to um, more about the sources of sea salt and also why it is that sea salt is remaining constant. We'll learn that um, sea salt has re that um, there are many processes that remove salt from the ocean, just as there are processes that add salt to the ocean. Um, finally, we'll talk about why some parts of the ocean are saltier than others. That will conclude our lecture on water and salt and salinity. I hope you enjoyed this lecture, and uh, I look forward to uh, giving it to you.